We have just introduced two new rifle scopes and we're pretty excited about these ones because they're a little bit different to what we've put out in the past. Our focus thus far has more been on the precision rifle slash long range side of things with features like exposed elevation and windage turrets, first focal plane reticles for the most part, but these are a little bit different. We're talking about two scopes today, the Helix HD and the Helix HDLR. They, they're very similar to each other, but these are both focused on the hunting market. So we'll go through an overview of all the features in a separate video, we'll link that down below. Today we're gonna to show you what you get in the box with these two scopes because it's a little bit different to what you might find in our other products. We're gonna start with the HD or high definition and we're gonna put the HDLR or high definition long range aside for just a bit. Now the HD is very much uh, designed around the needs of a hunter in an area like Europe or the Eastern United States where the vegetation is a little bit thicker um, so the features are built for someone like that. If we open the box, you'll uh, straight away see a few things. Element optic sticker, we include this with all of our scopes. And of course, the uh, little packet with the manual and the reticle guard, and in this case, a bunch of stickers. This is extremely important. The manual obviously runs through everything you'll need to know about the scope. So do give this a read, I know it's hard to sometimes justify taking time to read something like this when you've just bought a new product. But this runs through things like mounting the scope on your rifle, which mounting is a very critical part of setting up your scope on top of a rifle. We've run through things like zeroing the scope and we run through how each feature of the scope works. And very importantly, we run through the Raptor 1 reticle, which is a BDC reticle or ballistic drop compensation reticle that we include with the scope. Raptor stands for rapid trajectory, and we've put some really intuitive features into this reticle, which are all explained over here, and we've even included areas where you can put drop data, like little cards that you can put data down for whichever rifle you may be using or whichever load you may be using. So that's extremely important. And obviously at the back, warranty information and spec sheet. Keep this you might need it. The reticle guide is also extremely important because it provides even more information on how the Raptor 1 BDC reticle works. A lot of thought has gone into this reticle and the goal is to create a simple uncluttered solution for those who don't want to have to learn about MOA or MRAD and prefer to just use a hold point at 200, 300 or 400 yards or meters or just use the center dot of course but you do need to do your part to make sure it works. In addition to that, we've also included stickers on which you can write down your drop data. And the idea behind this is that although BDC reticles are intended to make life much easier by giving you hold points for specific distances, 200, 300, 400 yards or meters, they're never gonna be 100% perfect, especially at those extended ranges. Every single cartridge, every single bullet, every single atmospheric condition can give you slightly different results. So the idea behind these stickers is that you can fill in your, your exact drop data at different distances for your exact rifle, and you can stick this on the inside of your flip cap, so it's right there when you're about to take a shot, put on the side of your rangefinder, put it wherever you want. It's just gonna make your life a little bit easier. We try to make it simple, range, hold, and shoot, and be done with it. No fancy stuff. Now we get to the fun stuff. Let's talk about the scope itself. This will come in a plastic cover just to protect it from moisture in case the shipping container or pallet that it's traveling on gets very wet. It does also come with a rubber bikini cover and with a inspection card, which basically tells you that the scope has gone through the quality control tests that we have specified. Um, obviously we take a lot of pride in our products and we want them to be up to spec and a person who does the final inspection has to sign this off. There's also a QR code at the back which will take you straight to video resources. Check that out if you need help with anything. But as you can see this is a, a thoroughbred hunting scope. It's small, it's compact, 
We've got low profile turrets. We've got illumination. We've got a 50 mil objective lens, which will let plenty of light in. We've got a massive eight times zoom range from two times to 16 times, which is extremely versatile. And of course, a 30 millimeter tube, keeping it in line with the rest of the Helix family. As far as accessories go, we do include a throw lever. This is just to help you to get extra grip on the magnification ring if you need to change your magnification setting quickly. And although I suspect you won't need it on a hunting scope like this, it's there if you want it. There's a lens cloth in case you need to wipe the lens down for whatever reason and a single Allen key. Now, this is a completely tool-free system. The Allen key is only here to remove the plug screw that you have to take out if you want to put the throw lever in. But aside from that, if you want to reset the turrets, we've made this in a way that the only thing you really need is your cartridge that you're hunting with, or even an empty case. The rim of the case fits in the, uh, the screw at the top, and you can use this to, to loosen the screw and reset your turrets, which is awesome. No one really wants to carry a screwdriver or an Allen key around in the field. As with the rest of the Helix line, we do also include spring-loaded flip caps, but something we've done differently on the HD and HDLR because they are hunting scopes. We recognize that a lot of people that will be using this will be hunting in areas where there's adverse weather conditions, precipitation, you might want to leave your lens caps on while you're stalking or glassing, but you might obviously come across a situation where you want to take a quick shot. Let's say you have your scope on two times, a deer appears around the corner and you need to point and shoot. No need to flip the, the caps up. You can take the shot just like this. Now, obviously with the cap turrets and the very simple reticle, this is always meant to be a point and shoot solution. But what if you don't want to hold for a shot? Or hold on. What if you spot something at 426 meters and you want to dial for it? Well, you can do that. Um, we've made sure that beneath these caps we have very functional turrets, both elevation and windage. You can see the turrets are marked in milliradians, or actually to make things simpler, we've said one click equals one centimeter at 100 meters, trying to keep a language that everyone understands. And if you need to dial, you can go all the way up, all the way down, and it's going to track really, really well. The HD does not have a zero stop, but you can dial with it. And here's the cool part. If you want to leave your elevation or windage cap or both off, you can do that. We include two thread protector rings. And essentially, if you've taken your cap off, you can simply thread these over the exposed threads. And there you go, you've got a nice polished look, your threads are protected, and you can utilize this as an exposed turret without it looking like you've just forgotten your cap somewhere. And of course, we do include a three inch sunshade. Use it or don't, it doesn't really matter, but this may help if you're hunting at dawn or dusk and you've got light coming in at a very low angle. This will just help protect from glare through your lens that could mess up your image. The one thing you may not find in the box is the battery for the illumination. Um, unfortunately, with shipping regulations, sometimes we cannot include the battery in the box. But no worries, this is a CR2032 battery. You can pick it up at any little shop on the corner of your street. Very, very easy to find and very easy to install. So that's the Helix HD. What about the other brother, the Helix HDLR? Well, let's put the HD aside for a while with all these interesting bits and pieces that you get with it and let's take I want to say the big brother but um, it's pretty much the same size Helix HDLR high definition long range this one was built out of the necessity for areas where there's a little bit more topography a little bit more open areas like the western United States uh, Africa Australia places where it's very difficult to actually get in close and personal with the animals that you're hunting. More often than not, in a situation like this, you're going to need to dial for a shot. And so with the HDLR, we've got same optical system, same length, very similar weight, same windage turret, same magnification range. 
the main two differences are number one, the turret is exposed, and number two, the reticles are different. The reticles are in MOA and MRAD, which allows for more precise holds at longer ranges. Everything in the box is pretty much the same as you're gonna get in the HD box with a few exceptions. You've got all the same things, the sticker, the manual, the reticle guides, which are obviously specific to the APR reticles, which you get with the HDLR, lens cloth, um, throw lever. You've got one thread protector ring for the windage cap, the windage turret, because obviously the elevation is exposed. And you've got two Allen keys. The second Allen key here is for the zero stop mechanism. It's the only part of the scope that actually requires a tool. But more often than not, you're only going to need to set your zero stop before your hunt, and then you don't need to touch it anymore. So that's what that's for. Let's take a look at the scope itself. Once again, in a protective plastic packet. We've got the bikini cover once again. We've got the uh, inspection tag once again. But there you can see the major difference, exposed elevation turret. Now this is still a nice small compact scope. So the idea is that if you're a hunter, you want a second focal plane solution with a very versatile magnification range, but you need to dial for a longer shot, you can plonk this on. You've got a very, very high quality uh, elevation turret, which is essentially exactly the same as the turret on the uh, other Helix rifle scopes. It's tried and tested. People love this turret and there's a good reason for it. Very, very positive clicks. Really good zero stop that takes you straight back to your zero. You've got revolution indicator markings over here, so you can see exactly how many turns you're dialing if you really want to push the limits really far. And you've got 100 MOA or 29 mils of travel. We're not going to get into it in this video because we will film an overview video separately with all the detailed features of the scope, including the reticle and what you can expect from the illumination and everything else but just know that this one is better suited to long range shooting or crossover purposes with you hunting close range at two times and then you want to stretch the legs put it at 16 and uh, see what your rifle can do so there you go guys helix hd helix hdlr that's what you get in the box awesome little scopes uh, that i believe will punch well above their weights and i'm very excited to hear your feedback on them as always thanks for watching Use the hashtag, see it, send it to show us what you get up to with your scopes and we'll see you next time.